Overseas Super Project Maputo Bridge, Mozambique, the Bridge of Dreams on Maputo Bay. In November 2018, the Maputo Bridge in Mozambique, built by China Road and Bridge and participated by the China Communications Construction Company No. 2 Public Transport Bureau, was open to traffic. Since then, the people on both sides of Maputo Katemb have gotten rid of the history of ferry travel. While bringing benefits to the people, the Maputo Bridge will also become an economic bridge for the development of Maputo. It will drive the economic development of Mozambique and even Southern Africa and create a new era of development for Mozambique. In this video, let us learn more about it. Maputo is the capital of Mozambique. This port city is divided into north and south parts by the Bay of Maputo. Over the past 100 years since its founding, the north bank of Maputo has developed rapidly and has become the central urban area of Mozambique, with a permanent population of more than 2 million. The Katemb area on the south coast has a population of only about 30,000. Although it is home to the tourist resort of Golden Cape, the Pearl of the Indian Ocean. Due to traffic restrictions, development is particularly backward. The total economic output accounts for only about 0.1% of the entire capital region. Ferries are the only way to connect Maputo Bay to Katemb. The limited ferries are unable to meet the daily transportation needs of the people, which greatly restricts the economic development of the South Bank. Therefore, it has been the long-cherished wish of the local people for many years to build a bridge across Maputo Bay to facilitate the interconnection between the North and South Shores and promote the common economic development of the North and South Shores. In the end, the dream of the people of Maputo became a reality with the help of Chinese companies. The completion and opening of the Maputo Bridge gives Mozambique a land transportation line that truly connects the north and the south. This bridge has become a testimony of the friendship between China and Mozambique. Looking back on the five-year construction period, China's strength has been throughout, helping to build the longest span suspension bridge in Africa, setting a new example of international cooperation. The main bridge of the Maputo Bridge in Mozambique adopts a 680-meter twin tower single-span steel box girder suspension structure design with a tower height of 141.2 meters and a navigation clearance of 60 meters. It is the longest span suspension bridge in Africa. At the completion ceremony of the project, President Nusi of Mozambique expressed his gratitude to the Chinese government and people for their support and assistance in the construction of the project and spoke highly of the project construction team, saying that Mozambique has created a high-quality project worthy of being recorded in history. The completion of the bridge greatly improved traffic conditions between the North Bank and the South Bank. It originally took more than two hours to cross the river, but now it only takes 10 minutes, which facilitates the travel of local residents and the circulation of goods. Moreover, the construction of the bridge has also brought more economic opportunities and development space to Mozambique. The completion of the Maputo Bridge not only brought convenient and fast transportation to Mozambique, more importantly, it marks a new level of infrastructure construction and economic development in Mozambique. The Maputo Bridge project has many types of structures, complex construction environment, extremely high technical difficulties, and extremely difficult construction organization. At the same time, the total amount of concrete in the project is about 180,000 square meters and Bay Ao Ding alone poured nearly 3,000 square meters of concrete in a single time. It is the first of its kind in Mozambique and rare throughout southern Africa. In the face of difficulties, 
The project team was not afraid and explored a self-operated labor plus localized labor organization model, suitable for the operation of overseas mega bridges. With safety and quality control as the focus, technological innovation as a means, and cost control as the goal, the Chinese team achieved good safety, quality and construction period benefits, and made outstanding contributions to the smooth completion of the bridge. In 2017, the Maputo Bridge Project won the Fulton Award for Highest Concrete Quality and was praised as Africa's largest suspension bridge with the highest quality concrete. Two years later, the project once again won the Fulton Award Large Project Category Champion. It is unprecedented for the same project to be shortlisted for and win the Fulton Award twice. The Chinese technology, Chinese quality and Chinese solutions carried by the project have once again been recognized by the concrete industry in southern Africa effectively enhance the corporate image and brand reputation of Chinese companies in Southern Africa. At the same time, the project has also won many awards such as the China Construction Engineering Luban Award, the ENR Global Best Engineering Project Bridge Excellence Award, and the first prize of the China Highway Society's Bridge Engineering Innovation Award. China focuses on personnel training and transfers technology and experience to African countries to help them have more independent capabilities and competitiveness. The Maputo Bridge project deeply implemented the localized management concept during the construction process. During the construction of the project, a total of more than 3,700 jobs were created for the local area and more than 5,000 skilled workers such as welders, lathes, steel workers, drivers, and mechanical operators were trained, making it a university in Mozambique that trains local industrial workers. In the early stages of the project, the ability and quality of local workers in Mozambique were difficult to meet the needs of the project. To this end, the project team has cultivated a large number of skilled workers for the project through Master to Apprentice and Foreign to Foreign Apprenticeship. A Chinese master leads multiple foreign apprentices. Secondly, special business skills training, skills competitions and other activities are carried out regularly which effectively improves the business level of local employees and trains a large number of professional and technical personnel. Today, more than 5,000 skilled workers have entered various positions in Mozambique's infrastructure industry. They use the management methods and skills and knowledge learned from the Chinese team to build their own country, trained more workers, and brought sustainable development to Mozambique. China's achievements in infrastructure construction in Africa are impressive, but it still faces some challenges and difficulties. For example, some projects have problems with irregular management and operation, and need to strengthen supervision and coordination. In addition, some people are skeptical about the intentions and influence of China's infrastructure construction in Africa believing that this is a way for China to plunder Africa's resources. Therefore, while China is promoting infrastructure projects, it also needs to strengthen communication with local governments and people, enhance mutual understanding and trust, and ensure that projects can receive local support and recognition. For the future development of China's infrastructure, we should focus on sustainability and green development. African countries face many environmental protection and sustainable development challenges, such as energy and water shortages, environmental pollution and other issues. China should take these issues into consideration when promoting infrastructure projects and take corresponding measures to achieve coordination between economic development and environmental protection. 
At the same time, China should also explore new areas of cooperation with African countries, increase technology transfer and personnel training, help African countries improve their own science and technology and innovation capabilities, and jointly achieve the goal of sustainable development. In short, the role of Chinese infrastructure in Africa cannot be underestimated, and the Maputo Bridge is a typical case. By building this bridge, China has not only changed the destiny of Maputo City, Mozambique, but also provided more employment and development opportunities for local people. This bridge is not only a landmark building in Mozambique, but also a dream bridge in China's infrastructure projects in Africa. China will continue to strengthen cooperation with African countries, play an active role in infrastructure construction, economic development and personnel training, and make greater contributions to the sustainable development of African countries. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.